which will come out of Yemen and will drive people to their place of assembly. These are the ten major signs. When you see these signs appear, you know the historical process is not operating the ordinary way. You are now living in the last stage of history or in the end of history. Among the other signs are two signs that we are going to discuss on Friday at Moiz. When the angel came and he asked the five questions, question five was, what are the signs of the last day? And he gave two signs that you listen to on Friday, inshallah. And then there's another one that time will move faster and faster. A whole year will pass so fast it would appear to have been just a month. And a whole month would pass like a week. And a whole week would pass like a day. And a whole day would pass like an hour. And a whole hour would pass like the amount of time it takes to kindle a fire. Out there in New York where I live, time moves very fast. Very fast. I don't know about Singapore, but out there is moving very fast. Faster and faster. Indicating this is that age. But tonight we look at the first sign, Al-Masih al-Dajjal. Let us big, begin with definition. Dajjal is a being, a wujud. Dajjal was created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He created him in his wisdom. And when Allah created Dajjal, Allah endowed Dajjal with awesome power, with awesome versatility. And Dajjal was created at that time when Adam alayhi salam was created. Because the Prophet said, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, he said, every Prophet has warned his people about Dajjal. Every Prophet. So Dajjal has been created a long, 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 long time ago. In the last age, Dajjal will be released. <coughs> and when he is released on earth, Dajjal will have a general mission and he will have a specific mission. His general mission is to test all of mankind to test you to see whether you have any faith at all. All those who fail his test are heading for the fire. His test will be an awesomely difficult test. So great will be the test and trials to which mankind will be subjected by Dajjal. That the Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, he said, the greatest fitna, fitna means a test and a trial, he said, the greatest fitna that mankind will experience from the time of Adam Alaihi Salam to the last day is the fitna of Dajjal. So don't play around with this subject. Be very serious with this subject. Dajjal will not only test all of mankind, and tonight we will look at some of the tests, 
But Dajjal has a specific mission. His mission is to impersonate Al-Masih and to get Banu Israel to believe that he is Al-Masih. And so in order to understand Dajjal in his capacity as Al-Masih al-Dajjal, we need first to understand who or what is Al-Masih. After Banu Israel had lived in the Holy Land, which Allah had given to them, and after Dawood alayhi salam had established the state of Israel, he was a Muslim, so this is the Islamic state of Israel, and after Suleiman alayhi salam had raised it until it became, became the most magnificent state that history will ever witness. After Suleiman alayhi salam had built the masjid, and therefore after Banu Israel had experienced, take note of this, after Banu Israel had experienced the golden age, then they committed misdeeds, they violated the trust with Allah, the covenant with Allah, they committed many, many sins, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expelled them from the Holy Land. Surah to Bani Israel of the Quran, Surah number 17, describes this. وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ فِي الْكِتَابِ لَتُفْسِدُنَّ فِي الْأَرْضِ يعني الْأَرْضُ الْمُقَدَّسَةِ لَتُفْسِدُنَّ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَّتَيْنِ وَلَتَعَلُنَّ عُلُوًا كَبِيرًا Twice did Banu Israel commit fasad in the Holy Land. Fasad is not just corruption. Fasad is a corruption which is destructive in nature. Hmm? What did they do? We don't have the time tonight. But if I get a chance to deliver the lecture Jerusalem in the Quran, then we can go into all those details. But they were expelled. They had violated the conditions for residence in the Holy Land. And Allah sent a Babylonian army. And that Babylonian army destroyed the state of Israel, destroyed the masjid, and took Banu Israel into slavery in Babylon. Babylon is in today's modern day Iraq, in that territory. All right. And so the golden age has come to an end. While Banu Israel were there in Babylon, weeping, weeping by the rivers of Babylon, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent prophets to them. Among the prophets was a prophet named Daniel, for example. And he's a very important figure, Daniel. When these prophets came to Banu Israel in Babylon, these prophets communicated to Banu Israel a promise from Allah to them. The promise was that he was going to send to them a prophet who would be a special prophet because this prophet would bring back the golden age. The golden age was one in which Suleiman alayhi salam and the state of Israel ruled the world. It was the ruling state of the world. And when this prophet comes, he will bring that back. He will rule the world. 
from Jerusalem. This prophet, special prophet to Banu Israel, this prophet was known as Al-Masih. The meaning of the word is not relevant here. The significance of the word is what is relevant. The functions of Al-Masih is to bring back the golden age, to rule the world from Jerusalem. In order for the Messiah to bring back the golden age,